The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. If you're new to this series, you're probably going to have to play the condiment and catch up because a lot has happened. But in a nutshell, I've been traveling around Jamaica, living in my van and trying as many street food stops or small restaurants along the coast. And this is where I slept last night. And now we are about to start our day. Welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. I should probably stay a little bit further from the camera because I have morning bread 2.0, like I just got up. But I did see the strangest thing ever. This man just tossing his dogs out into the ocean. Um, the only thing I can suspect is right now in Jamaica, there is ticks. I would say this is tick season. Like I got my reminder on my phone that it is tick season. I said it every single year for this particular time. That's because when the summer months come, ticks become a lot more rampant. And I found that every time I went to the farm store, the, the tick powder that I normally use that works really, really well, it is nowhere. I probably went to seven different stores. So that is probably a way for him to bathe his dogs, basically. I don't know if the salt water does anything, but yeah. Now, strange enough, the dogs went back with him home and everything. So I guess he's just giving his dogs a shower. Um, in Jamaica, we call those kind of dogs uh, mongrels, or in the US, you might call them mutts. They are super hardy dogs. You find them almost on every single street, or if you go to any street food stop, they are going to be there waiting to grab a bone. Anyway, I need to go grab a shower. This is going to be the weirdest place I've ever taken a shower so far on this journey because it is directly on the roadside i don't have much cover i'm gonna try to use my two doors here as some form of block and yeah take a shower but sometimes when you're doing things like this you just cannot care about what anyone thinks anything that you want to achieve in life if it's your dream if it's something that you're doing for your job if it's something that's going to make you happy just go out there and do it like yeah, yeah. just do it you know what i'm saying In Jamaica, we have a term called small up yourself, which is exactly what it means. It means to make yourself small. Now, this phrase is often used where taxi men are concerned. You're trying to take a taxi and they're trying to fit five people on the back seat that only should fit three. Now, just now I found myself smalling up myself. I wanted to shower in the confines of two doors by my car because I was more concerned about what people would think of me. Now, remember, this journey is something that I set out to do on my own. It's something that I wanted to do, something that I dreamed of doing, and now I'm doing it. Now, why should I small up myself? Because of the thoughts of other people. Now, a lot of us in our lives every single day, we do this. We small up yourself. Now, I don't want you guys to do that. Whatever it is, do not small up yourself. Once you're being decent, you're being respectful, go big. Matter of fact, I want you guys to be a big lunch. Say it with me. I am a big lunch. A big lunch. Jamaica is a land of wood and water. And yesterday, I remembered seeing people fill bottles by a local water stand. So I headed there to fill my jugs. Now, there's a place along the way that is called Dickie's Best Kept Secret that I saw on the map. And the reviews there are not so great with a 3.7 star rating. And some of the comments were a bit off, but still I felt compelled to go. 
as things are not always as they seem and like I've been saying from the start of the series, I've been just trusting the vibe. Now, as soon as I entered, I remember seeing this clipping on the wall, so I decided to read it. Now, this is going to take a little while to read everything, so if you want to skip ahead, feel free to, but you might be missing out on some interesting bits about this character. Now, in 1959, at the age of 16, Alvin Butler set the stage for his life's work when he accepted the job at the Jamaica Reef Hotel at Titchfield in Port Antonio. There, he was trained as a waiter and later as a butler, which opened many doors and gave him the opportunity to work with several top hotels and restaurants of the day. His former employers include the Blue Lagoon, the Sheraton Hotel in Kingston, the South Kama Hotel, which later became the central sorting office of the Postal Service in Kingston on 93 Harbor Street at Paul's Place. He is very proud of the fact that he was the first maitre d' at the Trident Hotel. Now, if you don't know what maitre d' means, it's basically a French word meaning master of the house or it's like a head butler. Now, he also assumed the role of bartender and cook at the Trident Hotel he also worked as a butler at the Frenchman's Cove Hotel, where he served members of the royal family on their visit to Jamaica in the 1960s. Other prominent guests that he had the pleasure of serving include Britain's Princess Margaret and the late American actor Burt Lancaster. Recognizing that he had a special talent for food, Alvin Butler began to lay the foundation for what was to become Dickie's best kept secret restaurant in Port Antonio between 1972 to 1973. A sought after establishment, the restaurant has attracted the attention and support of many visitors to the island, including the late Winnie Mandela of South Africa. The impressive service and quality of the food at Dickie's best kept secret have been lauded in both Britain and American newspapers including the New York Times and here at home, the restaurant has also received a Jamaica Observer Food Award. For Alvin Butler, his career in tourism has been driven by the pleasure he gets from meeting people and a strong belief in the industry and what it can do for Jamaica and Jamaicans. He hopes to continue to welcome visitors and show them the warm and genuine hospitality for which Jamaica has become famous. The Minister of Tourism and its agencies are pleased to recognize Alvin Butler for his zeal, commitment, and invaluable contribution to the development of Jamaica tourism sector. Now bear in mind this clipping was taken years ago and now Alvin is a bit older and he might I say is an enigma. He's a very interesting character and Let's get back to the video. Where you at now? Because I use every best food in the world. Miss, they'll, they'll see there. Oh, wow. Yeah! You come at the right spot then. Eh? I came to the right spot. Okay, so. I will sit and wait. I'll get a girl, man, and come. Yes, she they are foreign. Yeah. Oh, you mean one the, the women love men when they're strong and I, you know have a, a no man. Yeah, woman to do all kind of things, man. You just go get a girl and come entertain you. Make your wife box you down when you go for him too. <laughs> no man, the man like you have, see that this, me I give up on your food plate. So, you, you alone can enjoy this, man. Me have lobster down there, me have shrimps, and me have fish, so. You get a girl and come and run your video. We set up a nice oh, day. Yeah, I know my girlfriend box of donuts. Can't manage that. So, all right, is it possible for you to do like a smaller serving for me today, or am I have to get the full? No, man, we can't make something for you to go in the video with yeah. eggs. We just make an omelet and a full plate for you. No, we can't get it. Can't we can't get the lobster one? You want the lobster? Yeah, man, we can't fix but, but, but we don't want the full five course then. No, man, you, you say. Yeah, go and come. Mm -hmm. Tell me, say, yeah, yeah come back two o'clock. Mm -hmm. Right? You can't even live assured because I'm not cooking for them. 
cook right cook to right. all yes, you my food them stay mm-hmm. and when you come now I set a table for you me me fix a food plate for you with watermelon and pineapple all right. fruits like this and all me right. I go make an omelette for you no you say you want a lapse yeah no omelette for me no omelette no like egg okay well you like big lobster? Mm-mm. Just a small size lobster. More something that people can see what you can do. Because you know what I mean when I'm not going to be able to eat off all that food today. Uh, Alright, look now. <laughs> look now. Me have plantain. Mm-hmm. You see, I, it's a shrimp. So that's why if you want to see lobster, yeah? mm-hmm. if you want a good video. You know, most friends, somebody come and fix a nice, give me a good money, me fix a nice meal, you know, video. international listener. You know? All right, uh, what, what, what are your price range? What are we looking at if somebody come and want 45 price? US dollar. 45 US dollar. Yeah, for one, for, for, for a meal, see? So if you get, if you get, if you get somebody and come, the dining, you know, fine dining. Why well, you know, me not get nobody and come. Get nobody nobody and well, me, 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 yeah. me, me, me not make no decision, you know. Yeah. We are talk to our man, right? Sure. So we 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 lose everything, right? Yeah. Like eighty years of age, you know. Really? Yeah, man. You not look right. So me I give up the, the dining room, you know. All right, see, you know. If you go buy a, go buy a bottle of wine and, and come cheap wine the uptown, and you come me fit me not no grapefruit today, but me have orange. Me fix your food here because that must be on your table. Yes, yes. And you say you know, eat eggs, me, you eat your soup. And me, no, avocado, say avocado salad, you know. Mm-hmm. This is a jelly coconut, I, this is a dessert. Alright. This is a soup. See, see lobster, you, know, you say you like lobster, you know, fix your lobster. Alright. So, food what? Style, me, cook, you know, so, you say you're giving up this now? Yeah, man, I give up it. I eat, you know, I give up the dining. Bro, I, I literally got goosebumps and a level of sadness. Hmm? feel kind of sad but I'm happy that I'm going to experience it but right. for the for the people that watch will they get a chance to like this no, year still, yeah yeah but probably this year or a little later but may I give it up now yeah yeah man may I give it up now to somebody who, who can take my immediate space yeah. nice you know you know see me show you look here seriously so people don't like the Did that, no, dining that, again the, um, this generation don't know the use of a dining table in our house of their family. Neither inside nor outside. Yeah. As Dicky gave the tour of his place, you could envision what it was in his younger days, with an eclectic appreciation to the culture of dining and the fervent use of cutlery enjoying foods and sharing content over the years i can appreciate the gripes that some may have encountering foods in an environment that seems timed out but for me i got the expression of a retiring artist who was about to put up his tools but wouldn't neglect a gentle hurrah to show a time before so i'd recommend calling in a day before so he can prepare something for you and know that you will be walking into someone's living memoirs and appreciating it for what it is and not what you think it should be for our memoirs are our own so that being said i gave him about three hours to get his chef and prepare something for me as i traveled into town to find something to do now i came across the arrow flynn marina which i honestly didn't even know existed until then but the man himself i did read about when i studied tourism as errol was a huge early impact on jamaican tourism the story is errol flynn a hollywood actor landed in jamaica when his sailboat a former navy vessel ran into mechanical troubles i guess he was a man of my heart that noticed he had some time to spare rented a bike in kingston and headed along the northeastern coast he arrived at a small town, Port Antonio, and fell in love with it, as it reminded him of Polynesia with similar clear waters and friendly locals. And you can imagine the rest of the story. Popular guy heads back to the US, shares his visit with his friends, and then 
everyone wanted to see this paradise, Jamaica. I kinda wished I had the chance to experience this more untouched Jamaica too, with Wi-Fi of course, but I did stop under a poi tree to lime a bit until it was time for my food to be ready. <laughs> wow. Where do I go? That way? Where? Here. <laughs> wow. Alright, so finally made it here. Um, like I'll look at it and say it's a, it's a very quaint little place. It feels like I'm definitely back in time in a good way um, with someone who has done so much great service to the food industry and yeah I'm interested to see how good the food is going to taste today. I'm really enjoying the view that I'm getting it's like you're almost at sea level like if a proper wave comes in yeah you can get a little bit wet out here but i quite like that you know so yeah can't wait to see how the food is hi. <laughs> come say hi. hi what's your name deja 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 <laughs> so yeah i got led in here by deja Vu. <laughs> so you guys can see you can see why he said i should bring a girl with me because um this is a very big fruit salad. That's like that's like a lot of fruit. So, do you want to share some with me? You eat fruits? Sure. Okay. Grab a plate. What do you want one of? Take. Grab a, a melon. A. <laughs> so yeah, that's my girl for today, Deja. <laughs> What kind of soup is this? Sweet vegetable. Vegetable soup. Okay. So I got a soup? I got a, a vegetable soup. Yes, a vegetable soup. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the fruits. Like in Jamaica the fruits are top tier. We have great fruits here that watermelon is pretty sweet oranges are good I'm not really a papaya person I'll blend it but yeah subscribe <laughs> no it's a vegetable soup um very light it's not one of the thicker it's type of soups cool. it's subscribe. one of the it's one of them <laughs> It's one of them that's more to, how can I say, open up your appetite. That's what it does, really. And, um, yeah. And subscribe to a new video. Lobster That's here. A lobster. Coming back. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. So 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 much food. Like the the fruit plate alone will just bottom you out. Like seriously. Alright, but let me just get done with the soup. I quite like this one. It's not a very bold soup, it's very light, very delicate. Thank you. Delicious soup. Yeah. Thank you. 
All right, so I have this amazing lobster here and these other things. I can see yams, plantains, and so on, and rice. Wow. Definitely, definitely worth it. All right, let's, <laughs> let's dig in. I like the lobster. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I find when I'm sitting down to eat, it's like a time to have like deeper thoughts with yourself. It's that moment when you can just think about the day or whatever happened. And the thought that reflected on my mind was how sad it is that places like these end up inevitably fading away with the lack of proper attention and of course these days branding. But the big fast food chain restaurants keep appearing and flourishing on the island. All right, Dickies, blessings here. Yes, all right. Give thanks, bye. Yeah, that was definitely one of the most interesting food experiences thus far. Definitely the most I spent. I definitely went over budget. I have a budget on how much I want to spend every single day when I'm here on each dish, but it's definitely the most I ate as well. I'm super full right now. I'm thinking or I'm feeling for some Devonos ice cream, one of the best ice creams out there. So that's in the marina that I was at previously. I will go back there and relax just a little bit and see where i will rest my head tonight man I, I i kid you not this has been i wouldn't say life changing but it's been a very eye-opening experience i've i'm really noticing a lot more traveling a lot slower this place i would definitely breeze past this and i'm happy that i got the chance to meet someone who's 80 years old who contributed quite a bit to the tourism sector that a lot of people come here for to experience so you know it's an amazing thing anyway let's uh head out head to the marina i might play some nintendo switch or do some editing or something and then uh, we can grab some ice cream what flavor would you like drop it in the comments and let me know Alright, before I wrap up, I want you guys to save this number to this guy that has one of the best gizadas on the island. Light, thin crusted pastry with a fresh baked coconut filling. Let me say, this is one of the side quests I have every time I travel in Jamaica. I always want to find a good gizada and I think this is the second one I think I would ever recommend to anyone. <laughs> 